Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here right up with another part of best builds in the game. In this part, I show how to be Lord of Blood in the game, so follow me. Okay, we have three weapons for blood build. The first one is Eleonora's Pole Blade. This weapon has two positive options. One of these is very fast weapon, and if you spam the skill you 80% knock down the enemy and don't forget the blood loss skill you can deal more damage to enemies the second positive option is form of the weapon and dodge when you use the skill so the next weapon is rivers of blood and it is the katana and positive option is medium range when you use the skill and throw blood in mid range The next one is Morgoth Corvid Sword. This weapon is too heavy and you couldn't use this fast like in other weapons. So let's see positive options. It's combined the blood and fire and it's really cool when you use its skill. It makes line of blood then explode with fire. And it's really strong and good for bosses and deal AOE damage for normal adds. Uh, and for magics we have five options first magic is Brawl of punishment for long range and aoe damage second one is blood boom uh, that's throw the blood and they are burn everywhere to drop this stuff is really good because you can both magics in one item you can use sorceries or normal magics Next spell, Furious of Blade of Anspatch. Draw the Dagger of Blood and make a line, then explode with fire, like Mog's sword. Another spell is Blood Flame Talons. It really have a good style, with this spell scratch the air, then explode. And the last one is Swarm of Flies. Send too many mascots to drink enemy's blood and it's very good for pvp ok for talismans i choose pure drake talisman plus 3 for deal more damage with spells the next one is claw talisman when you jump and attack deal a little more damage and another talisman is flame drake plus 3 for more god sword and magics and the last one is Assassin's Cerulean Dagger to restore HP when you deal critical hit. Now time to show the armors and don't forget to subscribe and like. Anyway, the helmet is white mask because rises attack of blood loss. The chest is ants bats, increase the blood skill little bit. And all bridge bracers, it's like chest, increase little more blood skill. And for legs, I choose precept throws for better magics. And these two items for the restore HP, and it really works for bosses. A second one, it's really good to recover your stamina in middle of the fight. Ok, for stats you need high vigor, with high dexterity and little more arcane. You need dexterity for a speed attack and vigor, you need a little more damage because your armor is not high, so you need more heal. And if you want to play like Lord of Blood, uh, and use the Mog Sword and Fire Blood spells. You need to increase the faith and mind to use better magics and the skill of Mog Sword. Okay, this is it. I hope it's helpful for you and don't forget to subscribe and like. I try to find the best stats and items for Blood Build. And thanks for watching. I love you so much. See you on next part. Goodbye.